zoax.net. Lesson 11. More Common Products. In this video, I go over a few more polynomial products that are commonly seen in algebra. These formulas expand on the prior formulas and will be derived in fully generalized form later on. The first formula I call the square of a trinomial. This formula is similar to the square of a binomial, but with one more term. To derive it, we begin with the trinomial squared and apply the binomial squared formula using the substitution of a sum for the second term. For clarity, I have given the binomial formula with x and y in it to make the substitution more apparent, but the actual letters are immaterial. Applying the square of a binomial formula, we get a squared plus 2a times the quantity b plus c plus the quantity b plus c squared. Then I expand the second term using the distributive property to get 2ab plus 2ac. Another application of the square of a binomial formula and the third term becomes b squared plus 2bc plus c squared. Rearranging our terms via additive commutativity gives us our final result. I will illustrate the formula with a quick substitution and leave out some of the details to get through it quickly. Set a equal to 2x b equal to 3y, and c equal to negative z. Then the formula gives us 2x the quantity squared, plus 3y the quantity squared, plus negative z squared, plus 2 times 2x times 3y, plus 2 times 2x times negative z, plus 2 times 3y times negative z. This simplifies to 4x squared, plus 9y squared, plus z squared, plus 12xy minus 4xz minus 6yz. The second formula is the cube of a binomial. This is like the square of a binomial, but to a third power. To derive this, we use the definition of exponents to split one of the binomials out of the product. Then we apply the binomial squared formula and distribute over the first binomial. Multiplying through, we get a cubed plus 2a squared b plus a b squared plus a squared b plus 2a b squared plus b cubed. Combining the terms via distributivity, we get a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3a b squared plus b cubed. Again, we can make a substitution for illustration. Set a equal to 2x and b equal to 1 and we get 2x the quantity cubed plus 3 times 2x the quantity squared times 1 plus 3 times 2x times 1 to the 2 plus 1 to the 3. Simplifying this, we get 8x cubed plus 12x squared plus 6x plus 1. Our third formula is the difference of cubes. Like the difference of squares, Many of the terms of the product cancel as we will see in the derivation. We start with the left hand side and distribute. After we distribute the a and the negative b terms, we have a cubed plus a squared b plus a b squared minus a squared b minus a b squared minus b cubed. Grouping these terms, we see that these middle terms are additive inverses. So they cancel and we are left with a zero that we can remove by the additive identity property. The fourth formula is the sum of cubes and it can be derived from the difference of cubes by a simple substitution. First, rewrite the left hand side using the additive inverse of an additive inverse rule twice and the additive inverse of a product rule. We can rewrite this second term using the subtraction notation and this last one using the additive inverse of a product rule twice. Now we can apply the difference of cubes formula. For clarity, I will write the difference of cubes formula with x and y and substitute a and negative b for them. Using the additive inverse of a product rule and the additive inverse of an additive inverse, we get the desired result. Notice that I have skipped some of the steps in the derivation and I will probably do more of that in the interest of time as I go on. However, you might want to run through the steps in detail for extra practice and to ensure that you understand what I have said.